Now I've been using trekking poles for over 25 years. Sometimes there's this common uh, misconception about trekking poles and the weakness of using them. Now, if that's the situation, you make your own decision. But what I know is with countless of trips and you know days and months in the mountains, I know the trekking poles are one of the most efficient ways to really take the weight off your hips, take the weight off your back, your legs, and really allow you to continue on those long hunts over the course of up to, you know, say 14 days. So there's a few different techniques that I use when I'm going up and down mountains. Certainly when I go up mountains, you have to have a trekking pole that is adjustable. Now I'm into carbon poles for sure. I've used a number of different kinds, but definitely carbon in my opinion is the way to go. So a trekking pole that you can actually adjust. So when you're going uphill, what you wanna do is you wanna be able to shorten that trekking pole up, really minimize that, uh, that distance so you're not really reaching out, having to reach out in front of you, or you don't have to choke up on it. So that really helps get the pole underneath you and propel you up the mountain. Now in contrast to that, when going down the mountain, especially with heavy packs, you know, after maybe after you've got a game animal, you really want to extend those poles. Now, you know, add another five to 10 centimeters to what your normal, you know, flat ground trekking pole would be at. You just add that length to it to really give you some stability and get you out front so you can stop a fall in case that starts to happen. And it really just allows to take the pressure off your knees on the downhill, which is so important when it comes to climbing up or down with heavy packs.